Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Brooklyn, homeschool mom of, well, I'm a stay-at-home mom of three and I'm homeschooling two of my children this year. We've got a kindergartner and a preschooler. So today's video, I'm gonna talk about why we're starting our homeschool year literally right now. I'm filming this video the first week of May. We're starting our kindergarten year in May and going through the rest of the year. I'm gonna show you my plan for why I'm doing homeschool through the year and how I'm going to do it, as well as my homeschool plan for next year, because I already have it mapped out. I'm also gonna talk a little bit about why I'm doing homeschool year round and not following the traditional public school schedule. It works really well for our family so far. I don't know if I'll change it up, but so far we like it. Let's get started. I went ahead and printed out this says 2024 it is not 2024. This is the 2023 schedule. So basically what I'm doing is a four week on one week off school schedule. So basically we start first week of May and then we are doing four weeks on. So we're basically doing the whole month of May. So four weeks of school and then we will take a week off. So I've highlighted our school days in yellow, which you can hardly see in this video. And then I have highlighted our week off in blue. So those days that we're taking off, we are doing in blue. The reason I am doing school like this is because I want my kids to really be able to dive into learning, but take frequent breaks because they are so young and I think just taking some time off is gonna be really beneficial to them. It allows us to do school year round without having the rigor of a public school schedule. Um, so I think it's gonna be a little bit more relaxed for us that way. And I have control of the schedule, so why not do that? Because kindergarten doesn't have very strict rules in my state, we are just going through the remainder of the year and I think this adds up to about 180 days. I'm not 100% sure on that, but we don't have to hit exactly 180 anyway for kindergarten. So we're just going through the end of the year. If we finish early, we finish early and that's great. If we don't finish all of the curriculum choices we have, then we'll just start them in the new year um, with the new schedule. But I have a feeling we'll finish everything on time this year. Um, and I'm just, I'm super relaxed about it. So I'm not stressed at all, but we are just going to work through all of the curriculum as we go. So I don't actually have a plan laid out on what lessons we're gonna do each day. It's really just about having the rhythm and the routine of doing school on the days that we're scheduled to do school on, whether we hit all subjects or not. I do also have a class schedule. Let me get that real quick because it's super cute. I went ahead and laminated this. I found it on, I found this template on Canva and I added a little bit more to it. I filled in the days with the classes that we're going to do. And um, so we're following that schedule Monday through Friday. And then I have a weekend slot as well where I just put, we go to the library, we do a little bit of reading. That's all I really care about getting done on the weekend because we're kind of like a Monday through Friday type, really Monday through Thursday, but I do have Friday as like a little bit of extra for our class schedule. So we are filling the Monday through Friday. Oh, this is my other schedule, sorry. We are filling the Monday through Friday um, like attendance schedule with the class schedule that I have right now. And it's, it's just super cute. I love creating stuff like this. I have it laminated up on our fridge and this is what we're following daily. And I love it. Now going into next year, this is not as pretty. This is a rough draft of what the <laughs> schedule will look like. I'll probably end up doing another calendar that looks like this and laminating it. I haven't laminated either of these sheets yet, but for the 2024 school year, you can see I have a rough four week on one week off schedule, but I also have some months where I have extra weeks blocked out. So basically we're starting first grade in January. So we're going from beginning of the year to end of the year for his first grade year. Now, it's a big difference. I will say that for 2023, this year, 
Um, we finished up preschool in these first few months. So they really have only had April off. So they've only had a month off. And I was gonna start them in April because he kept asking to start more school, but I did give it a few weeks. Um, so now we are officially started now that it's me. So that's why I'm hoping we'll finish this year a little bit early because I would like them to have more than like one week off before we start the next year. But because we have so many week long breaks, I'm not stressed if it doesn't happen that way. So we will have a whole week off um, at the end of the year if all goes as planned. And then we'll tentatively start our school year, January 1st for kindergarten. So you can't see this very well because it's super tiny and I have little notes over here. But basically we start in January first week and we'll go four weeks on, one week off. Let's decline that call. This is January, February, March. So these are pretty much the same schedule. Then up here to April, I have a three week block of time off. So this is when I have my husband's um, birthday at the end of March. My two boys' birthdays are in the beginning of April, well, mid-April. And so I blocked off three weeks in April so we can take our spring break or vacation or just time off not doing school. Um, anytime within those three weeks, we may take all three weeks off or we may take one week off or two, it doesn't matter. Um, but I have three weeks blocked off for us to do whatever we want at whatever time we want. And we don't have to follow the spring break schedule of the public school. So if we take our spring break and go on vacation, we don't necessarily have to be there when all the spring breakers are there. So I really like having a big chunk of time off. I think it's kind of like a nice break for the kids. So we're gonna do that in April, start back up, and then we'll follow the four weeks on, one week off again, just like this, all the way until September. So September is another month that I have a little bit of extra time off because this is when me and my husband's anniversary is, and we like to have a little bit of wiggle room for when we want to schedule vacation or take the whole two weeks off if we'd like to. So I have two weeks off for that as well. And then following back that two weeks on one week off until we reach 180 days, which is this last week um, highlighted in green. This is our last week of school. For my state, um, since my son will be six and entering first grade, we do have to follow the homeschool laws for um, for our state, which is 180 days of school. Following the schedule, we have exactly 180 days of school, and then we finish the week before Thanksgiving, and we have the whole month of December off as well. I think this is absolutely genius. I think it's perfect for our family, and then we'll take all that time off around the holidays, and January 1st, we'll start back school again. When kids are already starting back school, it's not gonna be any different. Um, so this is just gonna be a nice little, um, I'm really looking forward to this schedule happening. So we have a little bit of a taste of the four weeks on, one week off this year, but it's gonna be slightly more condensed. But because it's kindergarten, not as rigorous, Basically, that is how we are doing homeschool. That's how I've planned our homeschool years for really all the upcoming years. I think that that would be a perfect schedule for us. Of course, if I start doing it and it doesn't work, I will change it. But this is the plan for now. This is what I believe is going to work for us this year and in the coming years. Um, it just seems kind of perfect. So. If you have any questions about our school schedule or any other questions about why I am trying out a year round homeschool schedule, please let me know. I just think it's gonna work really well for our family. I don't like having a big chunk of like summer with all that knowledge just kind of going to waste. With the week long breaks built in, I don't think the kids are going to need such a long dramatic break in the middle of summer um, we'll still because we're homeschooled and because we're kindergarten and preschool our days are not going to be filled like morning to early evening or late afternoon early evening with school so we still have like all day long to do summery things and enjoy our summer 
um, we're just not gonna let all the knowledge escape us this summer. So I think that's gonna really work well for us. So we will see how it goes. If you follow a similar schedule or something a little bit different, let me know what your schedule is like down below in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Do you follow their traditional public school schedule or do you create your own schedule for your homeschool? Let me know in the comments. If you have any other questions or you wanna connect on social media, my Instagram is down below. I would love to have you guys on there. Um, that is where I'm usually spending my time, but I will try to get back to uploading more videos at least once a week because I miss doing these and it's a little hectic, it's a little chaotic, but I actually really enjoy coming on here and talking to you guys about homeschool curriculum and plans and all of that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for sticking around and hanging out with me. If you have any comments or you wanna chat about anything at all homeschool related, please leave them below. I would love to connect with you all and I hope you have a really great day. Bye.